I'm traveling down the road to my success. I'm driving through a town that's unfamiliar to me. I don't recognize any of the landmarks, the people, or the geography. I'm questioning whether or not I should be there sooner. I pull over and look at the directions. I get out of my car and ask someone, do you know how to get to this place? Nobody knows where I'm going because it's my journey that I have to take. I mean, to make this real, I'm using this metaphor, it's like your life. You look at your education, you think, man, I should be better off. You look at your certification, I should be smarter. You look at your economic position, I should be wealthier. And all the things that you look at usually tell you, because of our human nature, that I'm not where I should be. I should be closer to my destination of success. Can you relate to what I'm saying? There are three cues that I want to share with you today to help you to keep moving forward and not look back. The first cue is that you should not look at your past and use that as a future indicator of your success. There are two types of people who looks at their past and determines whether or not they're going to be successful. The pessimist looks at their past and they count all the reasons why their future success will not happen. They look at all the mistakes they have made and they look at their environment and they look at all the situations that they have to confront and they conclude, I will not be successful in the future because my past was bleak. The planner makes a different type of mistake. The planner is used to doing things a certain way to guarantee a specific outcome. Listen, there is nothing wrong with planning. It's in my DNA. However, the mistake of the planner is that they're using familiar instructions and details hoping that something will be new in the future. But the truth is, is that when you're trying to do something you've never done, you can't go by the same instructions and details of the past. The second cue is that you cannot look at your pedigree, whether your family was successful or whether you consider them a failure. Let's look at the failure. It's obvious that some people think because their family was a failure that is pre-programmed in their DNA that they are going to be a failure because they assimilate the model of failure and they basically perpetuate the same behaviors that keeps them in the cycle of mental poverty. The second mistake is that some people look at the success of their family and they conclude, I'm going to be just as successful as they are. Now you're saying, wait a minute, Stephen, what are you talking about? Here's what I'm saying. You should be looking at the success of your family and then conclude that I'm going to be better than they are because you are using the intelligence from their success and you're going to make yourself greater. The third cue is that you cannot use the present as an indicator of your future success because the present moment is only guaranteed to be an indicator of your future success when you take advantage of the opportunity. You know the story of the caged bird. The bird has been in the cage for so long that one day someone opens the door of the cage and the bird outright refuses to fly. The master beckons the bird to come out of the cage. The wings of the bird are perfectly healthy. The bird is capable of flying, but because the bird has been in the same place for so long that the bird refuses to fly. Day by day goes by, the cage door is open, the bird refuses to fly. The only time that the present is an indicator of your future success or failure is dependent on whether or not you perform. If you don't perform what the opportunity is presented to you, you're like the caged bird who has the wings to fly, who is capable of soaring high, but the bird is so used to being in the same place for so long that even in the present moment when opportunity is staring them in the face, when the door is open, the bird does not use their wings. And the one thing I want to encourage you to do today while you are on your road to your success, because I truly believe that you're going to get there, is to keep moving no matter how slow it is. Don't compare yourself to other cars that are in the other lane. You, in fact, just stay in your lane and keep going forward. Don't look at the landmarks if they are unfamiliar to you. You just keep moving forward. Don't even go by what the people say. They say, hey, I don't think you're going in the right direction. You keep moving forward on your road to success. And I guarantee you, like all other successful people, as long as you keep the car in motion, you will get there. Listen, I'm Stephen Garner. Take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue.